Bro, it's on a piece of paper. That's the scariest part. <laughs> You're so... How many of those do you have left? Too damn many. 101. <sighs> 101 monk fish, dude. That's a lot of... Mo Wait, no, no. <laughs> I mean Kraken. <laughs> I, I ain't killing 101 monk fish. That's just fishing. <laughs> yeah, that's just fishing, man. Okay, so, Necro, I have a question for you. What up, bro? Okay, so, let's say uh, the world comes to an unfortunate but uh, understandable cataclysmic end and the economy is run purely by toilet paper squares yo can you okay, foresee that like no, okay i could i could but what if they get wet well i mean money could get wet and it's just still good you just gotta dry it out right have you ever like <laughs> saw wet toilet paper bro <laughs> i am not taking like if someone came up to me and was like yo i'll give you 20 sheets <laughs> for your shit <laughs> It's just like ration would, cards. Yeah, I would look at the if it was wet, I'd be like, bro, get out of here. Get that out of my face. You think I want this wet stuff? Come on. Yeah, Charmin right. only. It would be like dissolved. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like you ever notice how it just like toilet paper shrivels up if you fucking Well and it leaves like a trail everywhere. It's like impossible yeah. to it's just man it'd be all over your pockets you know it, like little man it just it'd be un, it'd be un cool well that's kind of unfortunately how things are freaking going i mean toilet paper is gonna rule the, the toilet paper companies are gonna rule the world dude bro i went to costco today it was a nightmare oh i don't even know what what even what are the brands are there there's there's the ones with the bears well, that's the Charmin, right <laughs> yeah yeah the Charmin. and then what else cottonelle i think I mean, who cares at this point? I think most people will wipe their ass with a dried cactus leaf. <laughs> like, they don't give a shit. I but, mean, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, literally, they don't They don't give a shit. Ah, uh, boys and girls, <laughs> welcome back to episode seven of The Grind. Oh, hey right? Was it seven? Right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Last week was six. I'm keeping track better than you, bro. Dude, you are. Well, that's because you're freaking so smart. You got such a huge brain. I, I am a big brain. You are a small, stinky brain. Dude, I'm going to be small, stinky brain because we can never freaking go outside anymore. I know, dude. Like, you're going to rot your rot your mind away with video games and television. I know. It's going to be fantastic. Nothing's going to have changed at all. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, nothing is going to be different. My life has stayed the same. Proceed as normal. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> like, gamers of America. Do what you've been doing. Yeah, you you've been training your whole lives for this. <laughs> <laughs> Insert Rocky theme in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. So I mean, I know we said we weren't going to talk about this again last week, but it just keeps getting worse. <laughs> to be honest, we said, and I quote, "We will not talk about this again unless it gets worse." And Here's here <laughs> we are. <laughs> here we are. Now. I know this is different for everyone everywhere, but why don't you go ahead and tell them what happened to you this week? Because uh, this, I think it's hilarious. This was about uh, three or four days ago. This is Friday. We're recording this on March 20th. This is three or so days ago. <clears throat> I got a call. I just got home. Uh, I was getting ready to hit the old ye old iron, and I got a call, and uh, it was a message from work. Saying, don't come. We don't want you. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> Fuck you. They, <laughs> they they canceled uh, schools in my area for the rest of the year. No more school for the rest. Uh, we're going to have a meeting on Monday to kind of talk about they're trying to wanting to do like uh, online, some sort of thing. But yeah, we're, uh, we're no longer allowed in the schools for the rest of the year. So that's, I'm out of work basically until uh, we get this whole thing figured out. So that's, that's a thing. Now I do want to I do want to point out that it is the entirety of Kansas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just our town. Yeah, it's but yeah, it's it's literally all of Kansas. The entirety of the school system has shut down all of their buildings. Yep. So that's that for that. And uh, I I mean, as long as I get uh, you know paid or whatever, I'll be uh, fine with that. It'll give me time, you know, not to uh, obviously make light of a uh, nationwide pandemic. Is it pandemic or pandemic? It's pandemic. Pandemic. Uh, because this is what happens when you don't get outside for a couple weeks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it sucks, obviously, but you know, I get time to work on the channel more now. So, I mean, silver lining. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's fantastic, especially, you know, given past events for you, but a little extra time to work on some stuff, that'll be good. 
I mean, yeah, and, and as long as we can get, obviously, as long as this uh, whole, uh, the COVID-19 saga, we'll call it, has a, has a happy ending to the arc, I'll be, uh, I'll be okay benefiting from the time off. Uh, my wife actually, oh, sorry. My wife. <laughs> thank you, thank you. She actually calls it the great booty paper, uh, what is it? Crisis? Yeah, the great booty paper pandemic, because you can't find any. <laughs> Dude, it's That's true. That's real crisis here. It's so, can we talk really quickly about that? Why toilet paper? I don't get it. Bro, I don't know. Out of everything that people could be hoarding. Yeah, like food? <laughs> Yeah, you know, like important things like food. Uh, did I mention food? Yeah. Um, Water. You can't even go a couple days without jet. You can go months without wiping your old bum. <laughs> I mean, you could, but like. <laughs> I mean, you might. I mean, might be getting infected, but uh, you'd have some issues, I'm sure. <laughs> but you can only go like what seventy two hours without water. Uh, good question. I haven't been drinking water since forever. Since you were ten. <laughs> Basically. Ugh, you know why? That. Fish fuck in it. Mm. Yeah, but uh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so, somehow the fish semen makes it taste better. I don't understand. Dude, they know they just... They, they, they don't, <laughs> why do you think they're just like <laughs> spitting into the ocean? You don't think they're like in the... <laughs> their mate? Oh, man. Uh, we got way off track there. Anyway. Yeah, we did. But yeah, so... I mean... I know it's not just here. It, there's a lot of places. New York just shut down their city like yesterday or today or something like that. Um, Italy's hit a record high for the death toll. It's like 2,000 old people have died. It'd be scary out there. Know. Yeah, it'd be scary. It's scurry. What about your, uh, are you still, is your whole operation still in operation? Bro, please. My job don't care. They're like, hey, go out there and get sick. We don't give a fuck. See, that's the one thing I think, because, you know, they have to care about the kids, so I get kind of lucky there. Yeah, like, the, as far as, like, my job goes, so long as the state doesn't tell them to close, yeah, we're not closing. Right, so that's, uh, the biggest thing is, for me, is they're closing all the dang gyms. Thankfully, I don't really ever go to gyms, I have a home thing, but it sucks, dude, and, um, I mean, they're closing everything, you can't, you literally... I, I, we're like literally under lockdown, essentially. It's crazy. Yeah, dude, it's, it's getting worse too. I don't foresee it getting any better in the next couple of weeks anyway. Um, <clears throat> what are they, they're thinking like, I think I heard someone say something about July or June or something like that. Is their estimation? A lot of people are, yeah, they're thinking that maybe by July or June that maybe this will be under control. Yeah, but if everyone keeps it. That, exactly. Yeah, that's my fear is if everyone keeps doing what they're doing and... Honestly, I, I'm not even sure that that all matter, you know? <clears throat> so, it's yeah. not telling right now, but we'll get there. Well, uh, I mean, yeah, as long as we can, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's, it's, uh, it's crazy, though. Like, sometimes, if you stop and think about it, this is like, we're going to, like, we're part of history right now. Like, this is a, yeah. this is going to go down yeah. in history. No generation before us has ever really had something like this happen, aside from, like, I mean, like, like the, the Black stars. Plague, maybe? Yeah, I mean, I mean recent. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I'm like, just like, I'm just trying to think of things to compare it to. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, that's a good one to compare it to. Uh, it, it's scary, man, but um, yeah, I like I said, I don't want to, you know, sound like uh, narcissistic or, uh, you know, make light of the situation, but the time off, like for anybody, I'm sure will, as long as we can, you know, chill and just, you just stay home and, you know, just take the time to, you know, get over this as a whole, we can, uh, we'll be all right, I think. Yeah, don't be stupid. Uh, wash like your hands. Cover your mouth. Don't, don't lick toilets. Don't lick toilets or do. I mean, whatever. <laughs> it's up to you. But, I mean, I wouldn't recommend You'll it. You'll contract a whole lot of other things other than that at that point. I mean, yeah. At that point, corona is the last <laughs> yeah. bit of your issue. Like, you better be worried about a lot more than just the coronavirus, man. All right. Well, I say uh, from now on, we'll end that on the, on that and continue on the uh, happier topics unless we think of something else. But, um... Let's uh let's move on to some some freaking gaming, dude. Sure. Um, I'll let you start it off. Kick it off, my man. What you got for me? All right. Well, obviously, speak. We'll, we'll we'll transition. We'll make a nice little transition here. Um, Animal Crossing, New Horizons. Are you uh you're gonna you, you, have you seen anything about that at all or anything? Um, I've seen that it's another Farmville simulator. Farm? No. Mm, 
You just made so many. You, the five people that are watching this right now just exit out of the video. Uh, you see, here's the thing. I'm not wrong though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, but Farmville would be whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, am, am, am I wrong? Dude, Tell me how I'm wrong. Dude, I because Farmville came out la later, so it would be an Animal Crossing. You you dunce. Let me tell you something. Anyway, I think uh, it's almost destiny. Nintendo foresaw the prophecy of the the Red Plague and uh, Red Plague. I don't know why red. I think isn't isn't like the the cell like red or something. I don't know. Um. Dude, they saw. They knew it was like, okay, these guys, these freaking nerds. Everybody's gonna be stuck inside. They need to get away to a, a a getaway island, a beach vacation. What can we do? Let's drop Animal Crossing in the middle. Of, I think they released it early, even or they like they set I think the they did too. yeah like a day early because they're like, you know what? We feel for you guys. And you actually made this. You made a point about this, and you can maybe talk more about it because you might know more. But like, a lot of people are cutting people slack with like discounts and free game game giveaways. I mean. Companies are going... Yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, a lot of companies everywhere are doing stuff like this currently. I mean, you got Steam. They got a brand new Steam sale that isn't normal. For yeah, I saw time. that. Um, you got... Uh, let's just... I mean, I've been on the WoW grind, as we all know. Of course. Had, there, we had to talk about... Oh, WoW yeah, we hit, the, we hit the WoW quota. Yep. So, they increased all experience gained in quests by a hundred percent um you know there's a ton of companies whether that be an mmo company or anybody really just trying to accommodate the whole situation and i think it's a super intelligent move for everybody to go about it right now i mean it's a good way for it's good publicity um blizzard everyone knows needs it right now mm -hmm. <laughs> um it's just a it's a good solid way to get your game out there and your game kind of more popular you know so runescape needs to do something about it they're just kind of like sitting there saying hey our people are important now i i got that uh message on as an email of them saying you know hey our people are important to us so you know currently we're going to be slowing down on updates yeah yeah Every company's so, doing that, man. Yeah, and I mean, I respect that. I'm, I'm not going to be mad at them for not kicking out new content in the middle of, you know, oh. crap. A literal bullshit. disaster. Yeah, basically. So, I mean, there are different, a lot of things going on right now uh, that are good in the world as far as stuff like this. I, I know the world is kind of coming together a little bit and trying to figure stuff out. It so. is, uh, it is interesting to, to kind of see, you know, everyone's kind of trying to band together. Have you been, do you, uh, have you been following Jagex's Twitter lately? Uh, no. They're just like <laughs> posting a bunch of memes <laughs> about it. Oh, it's God. Not, not about like mocking the virus, obviously, but like, <laughs> they're just like, Hey gamers, stay inside, wash your hands. It's got like the runescape dude. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's kind of funny. Uh, they're kind of, uh, Maybe trying to lighten the mood a little bit, but I yeah I don't think old school RuneScape will be able to because I mean they can't do an EXP boost because the community will be furious. I mean if they did an XP boost, you could bet the community would be furious, but you can also bet that their asses would all be on. <laughs> well, yeah, that very true, very true. Like but, as mad as they would be, you already know they'd just be chilling all day <clears throat> on this game. They wouldn't give a damn. Like, dude, the the old school RuneScape community is very unique, like compared to most gaming cultures. The old school RuneScape community is very memey and trashy. I, I don't I don't know what it is. They're very like I don't know. They're so passionate about so such certain things. It's very uh, yeah. Like they're trying to keep it as close to the old feel as they can while still introducing new things. I feel like and that's not a bad thing. No no no. But like like you said, I think you said this in a previous episode. This game is basically purely nostalgia, and that's what no one, nobody wants that to be corrupted. They want it to stay the same, basically. That's true, but then the game won't grow. Yeah. You know, I don't think we've really seen a big player boost since it came to mobile, but, I mean, do you really count that? It's coming <laughs> to a whole new platform where, I mean, clearly you're going to get more player base. Yeah, I, I mean, so, I would count it because it was a big deal. Like, that got a lot of hype generated for the game. Yeah, it was a big deal, but I still feel like, you know, maybe some... I, and I mean, you know, they're adding new zones and stuff like that, which is cool. Um, but maybe, you know, things like 
extra XP on some weekends and every once in a while isn't necessarily a bad thing, guys. Like, let's help some people. Like, one weekend every cup, like every six months or something like that, isn't going to kill the game. It's going to make some things a little cheaper for some people, like <clears throat> prayer. Um, yeah, see, that's I can. I mean, I can see that kind of being like, because then it turns into a whole thing about, well, I didn't get that true. opportunity. Well, then why don't you make it for only like mining and stuff like like mining and stuff not like the fishing. stuff that's that now i could see that maybe like just a gatherer yeah, skill like, yeah the gathering skills let's call it those the gathering skills where it literally doesn't hurt anybody okay like, I it can... doesn't mess with the economy it doesn't do anything like that because i understand it's an entirely player driven economy so i get it but like at the same time we we need to i think us as a community need to learn to evolve with the game yeah, I can see it. it is a very toxic community. Like, because if if Jagex does something like super dupe, super dope, and super unique, they'll be like, oh, dead content, oh, boring content, or useless content, and it's just like they're never happy. It's either too good, not good enough, it changes too much, not enough. It's ridiculous. Yeah, and that's le that is the biggest issue. Uh, for instance, let's go with um, the new skill they were trying to in implement. Yes. Right. So that would have been a really cool skill. It would have been dope. It would have just been the equivalent of like smithing for mages. Matt, yeah, but, exactly. You know, it. I don't know why it didn't pass, but I know a lot of people were complaining about it. It's just like, why? Why are you complaining about this skill? Like, honestly. I, I'm what thinking. Is it, what is it going to do? The, I don't know if they're just thinking it's changing too much, but I mean, they've added like new areas, so you would think they'd be okay with new. I don't know. They, I mean, they add new quests. They add new everything else. I, don't, I mean, I guess they think a, a, one skill is going to take it that much closer to EOC, maybe. I, I don't really know. I guess. I don't know. I mean, I, for one, wouldn't mind, like, an old version of Dungeoneering come. Well, that's kind of in the game now, you know, if you think about it. With, sort of. With Zolcano, yeah. With the elf play. Well, it's not Zolcano. It's uh, the, Whatever, that other the place crystal. Right yeah. The same area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I yeah, like I, I I do agree with you though. I wish they would bring like I wish they would bring freaking summoning back so bad. I don't want that. Ugh. Summoning would break this game. Yeah, I guess that kind of leads into EOC more than anything. But um. Yeah, like I mean, Dungeoneering came out. Um, I can't remember what came out first, summoning or Dungeoneering. Summoning. But summoning. It was it, it was hunter summoning then Dungeoneering, then that divination skill. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. And the then orb then gathering skill. Yeah, the orb gathering skill. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, so shiny. What'd you get? Oh, nothing. I was just saying that's literally. Oh, oh, much. oh. I thought you got like a dragon stone or something. No. I wish. That'd be nice. But yeah, I something. mean, if, if they could change. I mean, I, I don't know. It's like with the whole thing with PvP, you know? They just took it out of the game because people were ruining it, and now people are complaining that it's not there. Yeah, and so it's like, guys, you gotta, you gotta make a choice. You gotta, yeah, have a happy medium here with us. Yeah, Work with us a little happy. bit, baby. So, like, I mean, PvP will come back, and when it does, people are gonna inevitably complain. And honestly, at that point, if I was Jagex, I'd be like, you know what, guys? <laughs> you make the game. You. Like, no, to hell with you. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna, we're gonna do this how we see fit. Like, we want to obviously make you guys happy, but. No matter what we've done, you guys have always found something to complain about. So we're going to do this one thing the way we think we should do it. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, we'll fix it. You know, and stuff like Because I trust them to fix their game. Right. There's one thing that Jagex does very well. It is fix their game very quickly. Yeah, well, yeah, they'll just freaking, like, reset the code or whatever they call it. They, they're like, we got to, they, like, kick you out of the game and just... Hey, I mean... All right, so the the few times they've done that, they were they were they were game breaking issues there. Yeah, like that. You remember that money duplication thing not too long ago? I remember when the twisted bow would just drop out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't remember that one, but yeah, that someone like actually found a way to like duplicate money or something like that. So they had to like reset the game a couple hours. It was crazy. It was like a year oh, or so ago. Lord. But I I do agree with what you were saying though, because I almost feel like like with the new skill, like let's just say. You know, let's say they make all that already and they have it all ready to go and then it doesn't pass the poll, they're going to just, what, get rid of all that hard work? I feel like yeah. they're going to find a way to still work it in eventually whether the community wants it or not. 
Yeah, and they do say that they reserve the right to, you know, say yay or nay at the end of a poll. Yeah. I mean, so, who's I mean, to say they're not rigging the poll votes? How do we know? Oh, I don't think they do that. But yeah, we Please. would never know, though. That's true. We would never know. I mean, I guess that's a good point. We would <laughs> never know. Conspiracy theory. Dude, I'm telling you. 437. Like, I, I, and I guess you could make the argument, well, maybe they don't start working on it until it passes the poll, but I don't know about that either. But I could see that being a possibility, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I know they have some things to show some people, like, during their streams, and then before they, you know, run it through polls and stuff like that, so. what What is their Twitch? I never catch their streams. Is it just, like, RuneScape, or what is it called? I think they have their own uh, old-school RuneScape uh, stream. I can never catch them, because, you know, they're on in the freaking UK. Yeah, they always have a weird time, but you can always do, uh, oh, hey, I just got a Trident Dragon. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. How much is the just the plain Trident worth? Like 900k. That's freaking good. What do you mean like 900k? I, I guess when you're broke. <laughs> I mean, I'm rich at heart though. You're rich at heart. Yeah. Yeah, me, me too. Cause I got a big old red badge by my name, baby. Lame. Or do I? Oh, I guess if you're watching this, you can see it. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we need to get the uh, we need to get the freaking audio versions going. I know we do. We we need to we need like, to get on that. It'd be so much easier, I think, for us. Well, I mean, I still want to do this too, but yeah, but then that way we could like separate the audio files and put it elsewhere. Yeah. Off topic. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, that's just some inside stuff. But anyway, yeah, Runescape, it's great. It's gonna be great. The 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 week uh, this update was obviously kind of lighter because uh, of everything going on. I think they have smaller teams working from home, as everyone should probably be. Um, so it was just, I think it was just some updates and stuff, some minor quality of life things, if I remember correctly. Yeah, just minor stuff. Nothing major has came out, really. Maybe some bug fixes. That's probably true. <laughs> yeah, that's, and they always change the, I'm, I'm really, you know, I'm actually kind of starting to get a little bit more excited and ready for the next league. I do still kind of hope it is a little ways away, but I'm slowly starting to get the itch back to, mainly because it's going to be some fresh freaking content, but... I'm also kind of just excited to see what they have uh, cooked up. Yeah, me too. I'm I'm really excited to see where it's gonna be. Um, I, now I will admit that if the area is uh, booty, I'm probably not gonna play it. Dude, like if it was a will, uh, if it was like a wilderness like only thing, that'd be Alcarid Twisted League. <laughs> oh, desert! Yeah, that would be gross. You just die of the desert heat awful. all the time. I would never play it. No, of course not. I, I, I'm, they only have a certain amount of areas, though, so they're going to have to get creative. I wonder if they're going to start making things, like, specific for it or something, you know? Like, a whole... Or, or, like, maybe, like, not, like, area locked, but maybe, like, skill locked. Like, get to the... Do the most quests without raising your crafting skill or something. I don't know. I mean, they'd have to almost do something because... I mean, really, how far can you go before you run out of spots? Yeah, exactly. There's only a certain amount of big areas they can use. Unless they start cutting, like, the map in half. Like, maybe, okay, you can only use fairy rings to get around. Or you can only use, like, I don't know. There's there's yeah, literally unlimited. unlimited possibilities. And then if it's, like, if they do more Tanya, well, then, heck, you got, like, people like Swamp Lettix who's already done it. And they're just gonna win. <laughs> yeah, that's true, too. Freaking Swamp Man. Yeah, like, it'll be... It'll be interesting, that's for sure. <laughs> so, I th unfortunately, that's really only all the, all of the main, main RuneScape news. I can't talk. Oh my gosh. Um, we had there was a couple of there was a couple of leaks that did happen though. There was um, well, there was. Did you watch the Sony conference not like the other day where they were talking about the PS5 specs? No, I didn't. I knew it was going on. I got the alert, on, but I didn't get a chance to pop in. I was at work. It was, I mean, it was, like, not a press conference. It was, like, just a bunch of technical, like, jargon. It made hardly any sense. I think it was meant to be, a lot of people think it was, like, a, like for PR, but obviously no one could go anywhere because of the lockdown, so they just presented it to the, like, the public. And it was, yeah, it was rough, yeah. man. That was, it was rough? Yeah, it was. It, it's just, it was a bunch of, like, SSD, so, like, the, the main thing is, like, the solid-state drives are going to be, I don't know, faster or bigger or maybe stronger. He's the first member of the DK crew. I don't know. <laughs> I was just... <laughs> it, it, I, whatever, man. If they're going to be good, they're not going to be as good as PC, that's going to be all I hear, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's basically 
how it works, right? Like, and then I guess the real question is, is after these consoles, where do you go from here? How do you upgrade? You know, like you go to the PS6. I, I mean, but like, how far can you really, really push it before you might as well just start selling parts instead of just a full console? You know what I mean? I don't know. Cause like, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be easier for them to just be like, all right, so this is going to be fully, or this is basically going to be a computer console, right? I don't they're know. Already charging like the price for a computer. Well, eh, kind of. I mean, not a good yeah, computer. I mean, I mean you can't a get a fully one. functioning, like, dope gaming computer for four to five hundred dollars. You can get a a very decent computer for five. You can build a good computer for five hundred dollars. <sighs> I I think the appeal of the consoles is the convenience because you plug it in, it's ready to go. You don't have to set up anything. You don't have to do anything. It's just you get it out of the box. You hook the control. You get the controller. You don't have to use a dumb mouse and keyboard. A dumb mouse and keyboard. <laughs> I think it's yeah, cause I'm a real gamer. Right. Dude, okay, you freaking play Dark Souls with mouse and keyboard. Uh, yeah, you're right. I ain't doing that. That's great. <laughs> it's I I tried that for the first episode. And I was like, nope, I gotta hook my controller up. <laughs> It was, uh, you yeah, know, I, I don't think I could do it. I, it was I not a good sad. time. Speaking of, uh, not a good time. Did you, uh, are, are you interested in Resident Evil at all? Is that like uh, your cup of tea? I do like Resi. Did, uh, are you going to play the, the Resident Evil 3 remake when it comes out in April? Uh, see, now we've had this conversation on me with remakes. Oh, well, yeah, but, but that, these are good remakes though. These aren't just remasterings. These are like a brand new game, essentially. I mean, you're right, but. Especially lately, my thought process on most single-player games, most, keep in mind, because when Elder Scrolls Six comes out or any Fallout game ever comes out or, you know, pretty much anything like that comes out, mm -hmm. I'll obviously play that myself. But uh, basically any game that has, like, a linear storyline that where you can't really deviate from a certain path, I'm just going to watch it. I'm not going to buy it and play it. Right. I, I mean, I guess that makes sense. But there's yeah, so I mean, many, like, different factors. No, if you play the game, it's so different than just watching a movie. Not, I mean, not really. You, if, if, if you have a, a linear story where you go one direction, it well, is Yeah, but there are different things that can happen, though. You can die. You can not die. You can kill them. Yeah, abs absolutely. But then I like watching some of my favorite streamers or, you know, YouTubers play that game. Because then, to me, I get to play something else that I enjoy while I watch them play that. And then I get almost the exact same experience that I would have gotten. What? <laughs> it's such yeah. a different experience playing it, though. Hardly. Not if the story or story is linear in my... But you love Last of Us. Yeah, I watched it be played. But if you play the game, it's such a different thing, though. How so? Because you're in control of what happens. I mean, you might as well be in control of... I mean, just, you don't need to be in control of a linear story. The story's going the same place. Yeah, maybe the story, but, like, the way... The journey, though. The journey's literally the exact same lines. No, oh, you're just no fun, then. You go from start... You go from point A to point B. It's like going from home to work. It's the exact... You may, every once in a while, go down a... But you don't know that the end, first... You're still going somewhere else. But, but that's, like, spoilers, though. <laughs> i don't know i like the, i like to experience it i guess maybe i feel like if i'm watch if i'm watching something for the first time and it's a game i want to experience i feel like them yelling and screaming over it kind of takes away from that yeah i but, mean i don't know i think it depends on who you watch um i will admit that there are some single player games where i just i have to play them but resident evil is not one of them um, okay, but you do enjoy them. I do enjoy them. Yeah, I did. Now keep in mind, I did play them. Like I played Resident Evil Four, and Three, and Two. I've played them all, but I just don't want to go back and play them again. Even though it's a brand new experience. Even though it's a brand new experience. This okay, is, and I recognize. Fair that. enough. It's that's that's fair of. enough. That's fair enough. Um. Anyway, my whole point with that story was that the demo came out this this week, and it was. I played it, and it was pretty good. I didn't want to play it too much, though, because I don't want too many spoileries. I want to uh, be fully prepped for the when the game comes out sometime in April, but it was uh, it was cool. It was um, it, it, it 
seems like it kind of improved off things from the second remake. Did you did you watch the second remake at all then? If you didn't play it, Resident uh, Evil Two so remake rather. I watched it, yeah, and it wasn't. It was completely different. It was a whole another game. I mean, it was still the same, but and where it needed to be. But then there was different things in it that was. It made it seem fresh. It was. It was really good. But uh, the the big the big dude in this one is Nemesis. I I think you, you probably know that. And he chases you around with a rocket launcher. And he goes, <laughs> stars. Yeah, yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was pretty good, actually. I didn't know my voice could go uh, that, that deep. Was, that, was, that was pretty good. Um, I'm kind of impressed. Capcom, hire me. <laughs> <laughs> They're watching this. Uh, so, okay, anyway, boy. that was that with that. What a, There were some other things, a couple of leaks. Uh, obviously, who knows if these are real or not. I, I got this from a uh, Reddit. There was a Reddit post, probably not the original. Um... But there was a talk of. Did you play the Did you play the Spider Man game for the PS4? I didn't. I know there's a speed run of it already. Other than that, I don't know much about it. Oh, did you watch it at all? I didn't because I'm not a Spider Man fan. You don't like Scooter Man? I do not like Scooter Man. He's a Scooter Man. He's 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 probably one of my favorites. Uh, is he? Yeah, I mean maybe I like him. I like Batman a lot. As boring as that is, is it boring to like Batman? Batman's my favorite. So okay. No. Okay. I just know he's like everyone's favorite. That's Superman. I mean, Superman's like the white bread of superheroes. Superman so is, is Jerry Seinfeld's favorite. Uh, yeah. Well, we all have bad taste. <laughs> um, Somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. Spider Man is cool. Spider Man has the coolest villains, dude. Like Venom is the coolest Venom uh, villain of all time. <laughs> Venom is the coolest Venom. Yeah, Hush. he is. <laughs> Venom and, and Doc Ock, like, they're all cool. Green Goblin, they're just the coolest. Okay, so, like, the original, like, Hobgoblin and Green Goblin. Were, yeah, when he's, like, purple. Yeah, when they were, like, purple and, like, one, the Hobgoblin was, like, blue and orange and threw, like, pumpkins at him. Yeah. It was it was really cool. Yeah, and, and like, because, like, Batman's got, like, oh, the Joker, he's a clown. Oh, funny. The Joker's the shit, man. Yeah, but he's boring. He's a crazy person. Okay. Literally. Literally all villains are crazy people. Yeah, that but he doesn't have superpowers. Crazy. Freaking Spider-Man or uh, Venom is a Batman. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. But I mean, oh, I, uh, I mean, okay. What else is? Oh, he's got the penguin. Oh, I'm a fat guy. <laughs> okay, now I'll admit the penguin's about the dumbest villain. <laughs> <laughs> or the Riddler. Oh, I tell you spooky stories. I mean, yeah, but the Riddler's superpower, arguably, is that he has an un- in- inhuman IQ. He's he's also Jim Carrey. <laughs> also that. Um, Jim Carrey plays the mask. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so. Where was I going with that? Oh, there was this, anyway, that, geez, that was a wild ride. Um, they, There was the, a potential leak of a second one coming out, a second Spider-Man game coming out, probably on the PS5, because I think it's set to release sometime in 20. 20- oh. If that, that's, if, that's if the consoles don't get pushed back, which I'm starting to wonder, is it going to be an actual concern? Uh, see, I don't foresee them pushing them back. I bet they will just release them and then just make it to where Amazon gets them first, and then they'll just send them that send way. Send them all out to everybody. I mean, I guess it just that's all depends on how long all this lasts. I mean, it could last a while. It's hard telling. Because, I mean, I would almost think they would make the argument of, well, let's release them when everyone can enjoy them safely and you know not have to you know because like they're push people are pushing movies back for that like release dates for movies are getting pushed because people want them to be able to or the you know the makers want them to come out and see them in theaters and stuff yeah so i could see them doing that for something like that i don't i don't really know but it could i guess yeah i mean i i don't think they'll push it back i if i was them pushing it back would almost be a mistake Especially considering all the games that they're trying to push out for it with it. Yeah, I so, I could see that. That's a good point. Because then if you push those out, then the developers are forced to push their game back, which sometimes may not be a bad idea. Yeah. Considering the games that we've gotten recently and how bunk some of them have been. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Some some what's been bunk? Some games that have came out recently. Oh, you got you got some beef with some games? I mean. I can think of two in particular within the last five years that have just kind of, you know, really tanked and shouldn't, well, had the potential to not. Does one of them rhyme with Blawl Out Blevendy Blicks? (laughs) 
it, it in fact does. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can guess what the other one is. A huge disappointment. Uh, uh, it rhymes with handsome. <laughs> oh, Anthem. Yeah. I forgot yeah, about Anthem, perfect. dude. Yeah, as you should. <laughs> I heard they were talking about like remaking it completely, like starting the whole thing over like they did with No Man's Sky. Yep. They were. Like, I don't do, know how that, how far that went, but I think it's too little, too late. Did, well, that's what they said about No Man's Sky, and I've heard they've turned that game completely around. So I don't know. Are you there? Yeah, I'm oh, here. Okay. I'm not sure either, though. I think. Uh, oh, were you eating your nudes? I'm sorry. I was. I think uh, I was trying to get a bite in before it got to that's my, my turn to talk. I don't know, uh, but don't... um, uh, with new what is it? Uh, what'd you say? That game, uh, Anthem. No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Yeah. Um, the thing with No Man's Sky is that it was an, intended to be like an open world discovery game. Yes. That you could play with friends. Minecraft in space. Basically, the problem with that was that they tried to make it so massive that you would never be able to find your friend originally. And then a slew of other bugs happened, and then you still couldn't find your friends. See, I thought the and problem was, so, was that they, they promised that you could find, like, you could play with people. But then you couldn't. I mean, you could, kind of, but not, not to the extent that you were expecting. So it was just one big jumbled mess. Yeah, so. I, I, I did. A, did you play it at all, actually? Uh, I didn't. I know a lot of people who bought the, like, the collector's edition of it, and... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't buy it brand new. I bought it out of a GameStop bin for, like, $15, and even then, I was like, wow, this was not... <laughs> this was not worth it. But then they... This th was a mistake. I've heard that they've, like, basically remade it completely, and I've heard it's actually pretty decent now. I haven't tried yeah, it again, or so I wouldn't really know. It's now, supposedly. Yeah. But supposedly so, that's what they're doing with Anthem as well now, is they're basically remaking it from the ground up, so it'll be interesting. Did you play uh, Anthem at all? Uh -oh. I was uh, really, really excited to buy it. Yeah. And then I decided to not just impulse buy it when it came out, and I'm really glad I did. Did uh, you later on buy it? I didn't. I never bought it. I watched some gameplay. I watched Issues, mm -hmm. and... I eventually just decided that the game was tanking, and lo and behold, I was right. You were. See, I have a really bad habit about, even if I watch something, like if I see someone play it, and I'm thinking, okay, I, I'm i kind of on the fence about that. Maybe I want to give it a chance, maybe not. I'll still buy it most of the time anyway, because I want to give it a try, and then I'll never end up playing it because everyone says, oh, it's garbage, or oh, it's look at this, it's bad. And I'm like, oh, but I really wanted to try it. It's hard to do it with all the uh, the negative like criticism a lot of games get. It's hard to try new things now because you're just afraid. Because games, uh, let's be honest, are pretty expensive, so you don't want to waste your money yeah, yeah. and then you know hate the, the the experience. It's true too. Like you don't want to go pay sixty dollars for a new AAA title, <laughs> and you know these gaming companies follow suit as they have been. And just either make so many microtransactions that it just destroys the game, or the game isn't done. Or you do you remember the good old days when the game, when you got the game? Because I do. You when you get the full game. Yeah, when you get the full game, you know that that one purchase, like you didn't have to buy DLC if you really didn't want Dude, to. Dude, that's why I never buy DLC, even for games that I love. Like, okay, now I I bought the game of the year edition of some games that comes with the DLC, but. Like, for fa like for uh, Fallout 4, now this isn't a great example because Fallout 4 was just kind of very meh. Uh, I didn't buy any of the DLC for that, but I love the Fallout franchise. But I'm like, I just, I don't care enough. I don't want to spend more money on your dumb game. If it wasn't well, good see, enough to put into the main game, I don't really care. Now, I, for one, don't mind DLC after a certain point with single-player games like that. I think it has its place. Um, I don't think that you should sell it under like a $60 season pass. pass like especially for a fall like I remember when fallout had the season pass mm -hmm. like fallout 4 and I was like are you serious it has a season pass like 
Why? And then I think they only released like what three or four DLCs. You didn't even get your money back hardly for the season pass. No, yeah, you normally always just tend to break even with those, if yeah. that. And so, I mean, I I bought like the extent like the bigger edition where I got, you know, the season pass with my game. So I mean, it wasn't a big deal, but you know, it it was just kind of frustrating to know that even like or like RPGs are converting to that. That. I mean, Dark Souls has to me. Yeah, Dark Souls has DLC, which I always forget about because I never, I never played it because I just don't care enough to buy it. And Dark Souls is one of my favorite games of all time. I yeah, just... and I mean, I buy those because I like to support the developers. I like to support them in all their projects that they do, especially for a game that I already love. As long as they aren't releasing a DLC two months after the game release, that to me is ridiculous. Because if it's ready, just put it in the freaking game. Yeah, like at that point, you you know you got two months of like maybe a little bit of testing here and there now you and i both know that that thing could have been ready by the time that this game came out but i mean if you're comparing it to like yeah exactly if you're comparing it to like a time thing look at like gta 5 i mean there's not really any dlc for that and that's one of the most like time sinks of a game possible but like skyrim had the same probably and it had like four or five dlcs didn't Grand Theft Auto just released like two DLCs. Like well, one online, DLC, like, not for the story ago. though. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, but it's still a DLC. Yeah, but you don't have to buy anything. You only have to, the only thing you have to buy there is microtransactions. Oh, that's true. But I mean, like, the, I guess my point here is like the difference between Grand Theft Auto and like Skyrim is Skyrim is purely single player, whereas Grand Theft Auto has the option to go online. Mm, okay, so that's a, that's a good point. There's more to do there. So that's my thought on that. I I think season passes have their place, but not necessarily with every single game in the known universe. <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Yeah, and while we're on the topic of things that games do too much, can we... I know you said you don't really like linear, straight-to-the-point things, but I'm kind of tired of open world, you know? I mean... So I don't mind open world, uh, but I like open world with a point. Because... Like, let's use Skyrim as another example. Yeah, it's open world, but you have your mission. Like, if you didn't want to do anything else, you could just streamline that story and be done pretty quickly. And and Skyrim's strength is that all of the stuff littered around the world is good. It's not just boring filler content like climb a radio tower to scan your surroundings for the more crap to go find. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But like um like like because okay, one the main thing for me is the time factor. I don't have 80 to 90 hours to sink into every single game I want to play. That's why I don't mind a straightforward game to a point. If it has some, like, side pathing, some side questing, some optional stuff, I don't mind. But if it's like, okay, to progress through this game, you got to go find all 5,000 hidden pigeons first. And then you got to bring all 325 golden jewels to progress to the next uh, checkpoint. It comes down to basically just a time factor of, do I want to play a 13-hour, very good AAA story game? Or a 120-hour open-world RPG where you spend 20 hours making your... And I love RPGs, but I just don't have the freaking time, man. Yeah, no, I could respect that. I mean, technically, I don't either, but I make the... T- <clears throat> but, I mean, you play, like, what, WoW? Like, WoW is your one you're talking about, right? Yeah, I mean, currently, yeah. But, I mean, I've been thinking about getting to just RPGs in general. I've been wanting to get back into Outward. That game is fantastic. Did you um, ever play... Um... Did you ever play Monster Hunter? Yeah, Monster Hunter World. Yeah, the new one. Yeah. See, I, I wanted to play it because it looked really good, and our, our uh, buddy said it also was awesome. You know who I'm talking about. And um, I want to play it, but, like, it's like a billion hours, man. Like, it looks dope, but I just... Yeah, bro, it, it's at the time sink. It's like and Breath it's of the not- Wild. I'd love to play Breath of the Wild, but it's just another, like, 80-hour adventure. Yeah, you just can't you can't win, man. I know. You, I, you either you either sink a obscene amount of time into a game, or you just kind of streamline it, and then you just feel kind of incomplete because you never got to finish the game the way you wanted to. And see, I have a very and, and again, I'm not making light of a uh, sickness or disease, but I have very close to what I would consider serious OCD. And when I play games like that, I 
feel like a very strong urge to do everything and that therefore i start to feel anxiety about okay but i gotta go do this last little thing over here but then i'm close to the map and i gotta go do this real quick before i can go on to the story mission and then i'm gonna and it's just an endless cycle of me panicking because i want to do everything yeah see and i'm not like that i i just kind of streamlined things the first time around like you remember like with skyrim i streamlined the main story and beat it in like two days and then went back and then did everything else later <laughs> And see, to me, that's like almost backwards because if you complete the main story, then what's the point of doing the side stuff, you know? You do the side stuff so you can be overpowered for the main stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I always enjoyed, because I feel like the main story was, to me, the main story is intended for you to play it and like go through as you're going through the, like each town yeah. or however, however you be and not be overpowered to make it kind of challenging. Um. And then going back and doing all the other stuff later, you know, obviously it's going to still, most of it will scale to your level. So then, you know, it's still challenging. So it's not usually an issue, but the things that don't scale are the story missions and like Bethesda games at certain points, they don't scale anymore. So I try and keep them to where they're in that same level area that I am. So it's still a challenge. Yeah. And then there's like the challenge of like, you know, being too underleveled, you know, doing it too, like just mainlining the story and being, you know, not underleveled. And then you have to go do side stuff like in Borderlands, for example, is a pretty good example of that. You have to do side quests oh, in that man. game or you won't be able yeah. to do the main stuff. Yeah. Borderlands is the exception. I have to do it. Otherwise, I. I get wrecked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You ha like it's just that. And that's where it starts to get me because like Skyrim for the most part. Well, and you can also adjust the difficulty in Skyrim. You can't in like Borderlands. Yeah, I don't think, can true. you think? Yeah, there's no difficulty in Borderlands, is there? Oh, there is. Not There's a difficulty slider, are you sure? I thought. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It's been a while since I played the new one, like Borderlands 3. Well, I don't know about Borderlands 3, but I'm pretty sure in 1 and 2. I can't quite remember. I do know that Borderlands 3 just dropped for Steam, also, for those people who were just against Epic Oh, Store. it's just now on Steam? Yeah, just now released on Steam because it came to Epic Store first because they bought exclusive rights for it to release only on their store for the first, like, three to six months. I forgot about that. I forget when some of these timed things go off, you know? Yeah, uh, so a lot of people who, a lot of my friends didn't like the Epic Store for whatever reason or another, mostly just because it's not Steam. Because they don't like change. Yeah, basically. Do you... Um... At least that's my. That's really why I think they didn't want to get it. I mean, that's that's all it could be. They just don't want to change their precious Steam client. Basically, there's. I mean, there's so no other anyway, reason. What? Well, what? Well, you yeah. you hate the Steam, the Epic Games launcher because they made Fortnite the most successful game of all time. I mean, okay, first off. Wait, it's it is, isn't it? I mean, you're not wrong. With that said, I mean that's a valid reason to hate it. <laughs> um, <laughs> But no, I mean, like, I wasn't going to wait six months to play a game that I was super excited about. Like, I I just refused. Like, a lot of people told me that they couldn't believe that I was going to get it for the or from the Epic Store, but sorry. See, and I'm, I'm, I'm almost kind of the opposite on that, too. Not the, uh, you know, Epic Games versus Steam, but, like, say there was a game that comes out on PS4 first. Okay, I like, I prefer Xbox. Now, I have a PS4 and an Xbox One, but if a game comes out on PS4 and Xbox One, I'm going to get it on the Xbox One because that's just what I prefer. I normally get only the exclusive on the PS4 just for no reason, really, other than the fact that I just grew up with Xbox. I really, I honestly, I know that the PS4 is technically a better console, whatever, but, um, so like, so say, uh, like Horizon Zero Dawn just did this recently. It came out exclusively on PS4. It was only a PS4 exclusive for years. And it's just now coming to PC. Now, if it would have done that for like, say the Xbox, I would have waited and got it on the Xbox because I would much rather play it on the Xbox. Yeah, yeah. But that's just because I, I don't know, I just prefer it. Now, now if, it, if I know it's going to be an exclusive and it'll never come out on another console, I'll get it. Unless it's a PC thing. I refuse to play games on PC that I don't, like, like I don't know. It's just, like, the Half-Life, the new Half-Life coming out is only on, like, a VR console. I'm not going to play it. I don't want to get a yeah, VR thing that. for that. <laughs> and can we talk about that? How big of a cock tease is that game, right? Like, Dude. yeah, hey, we're releasing a new Half-Life but it's VR only. And I don't even know if it's like canon or not. I mean, I'm sure it'll be canon. <gasps> I just lost connection. Oh, we're back. Okay. My, my freaking client scared me. But yeah, I, I, I'm. Did, did you ever actually even play the Half-Life games? I didn't. See, and I, I, I never. I, pl I played Half-Life 2. I never played Half-Life 1. And it's like, 
just okay? <laughs> is that blasphemous to say? I mean, you may get you may get shunned. <laughs> like it's it's I I can tell. It was, I mean, obviously it's a, a a a relic of its time, but it's it's just it's like a physics thing, like portal. You know, you just pick up stuff and throw stuff, and you get like a crowbar. I mean, it's fun, but like if Do I you if not like portal. No, I liked portal. It, but you just admitted it's basically it's it's basically the same as Half Life, and it's man and okay. Well, I mean, no, Half Life. I'm sure. I mean, it's great, whatever. But I'm just thinking it's not like the best game. People like praise it as the best game of all time. I mean, I I just wanted to make a point that I hate Portal. You hate Portal. Well, Portal, Portal is just a good puzzle game. No, it's not. It's boring. It's not. It's it. They, you know how many Portal One was extraordinarily boring. <laughs> I mean, it's a puzzle game. You're just admitting Portal you have a small brain. A little... Portal. Uh, first off, I have big, big squishy brain. You got big brain. You are small, stinky brain. No, 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 no. Um, Portal 2 was a little better because there's actual characters and adorable little robots. <laughs> they were robots were in the uh, first game, too. Yeah, yeah, but, like, really, there was, like, no dialogue in the first game. Yeah, Crash, that's that, that's fair. It was just it was just a game that I feel like they threw together. We're just, oh, hey, by the way, I got more monkfish. Ooh, nice. How um, many of those crackers do you have left? Dude, you think you'll finish that? We have like ten minutes left in the episode. You think you'll finish it? Absolutely not. I got sixty left. Okay, can continue. Continue with your. Um, but I think Portal was like a half baked game that they decided to just throw into the orange box. <laughs> the and... orange box. I mean, they did. That's that's why it was called the orange box. It had multiple things in it. Dude, I'm telling you, freaking, I could make Valve a billion more dollars right now if they would just listen to me. They release they they release another thing. They call it, like, the Orange Cube or something, and it has Half-Life 3, Portal 3, Left 4 Dead 3, and Team Fortress 3. And they sell a bazillion copies. I mean, you're not wrong, because Team Fortress alone would sell it. I mean, right? If they did it before, they can do it again. Although, I, they could probably make it a lot more money if they just sold all those games separately, but... <laughs> yeah, that, and uh, I don't think they really care, considering they own Steam. No, I'm <laughs> like <they make> plenty <laughs> of money. <laughs> yeah, but people Every are leaving Steam day. now, man. They're going to the freaking Epic Game Store. Are they? I think. I think you're wrong. Because they're cheap and they get like exclusives, exclusivos. Here's the thing, right? The reason people still stay with Steam is because Steam has all these little minor features that Epic could release and put in there and make it a better launcher, but haven't. Do you have like, the Epic you know, Games launcher? Uh, I do. I have Borderlands 3. Is it good? Like, the launcher, is it good? No, it's garbage. <laughs> it bogs your computer down. It takes up way too much memory. Its friends list is trash. Oh, the, way you no. download and, the way you download and uninstall games is back ass words. <laughs> um, back ass words? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's just all around little feature, like the whisper feature. It isn't in there. You can't talk to your friends. <laughs> it ain't there. Uh... There's just little features that they should be able to fix, and it would be a better launcher than Steam. Right. The problem being, it's been out for so long now that I don't think they're going to fix it. I don't think they give a damn. How long has it been? Has it been a year now? It's been over that. Speaking of uh, things that are back asward, have you heard how GameStop is like not closing down because they're still wanting to make sales because of the worst company I of all time? I was going to bring this up. Uh, this will probably take the last couple of minutes that we got go ahead if you um, want we were talking last week about how they were getting un uh, undergoing new management i know we were like they're gonna be there saved was yeah there's a chance that they were gonna do something better and you're right i think he's doing something better if he, his theory is, is if i kill all my employees <laughs> then i can't stay open and i could file for bankruptcy and <laughs> save it that way i don't know i really don't know what his plan is i don't, I, I don't get it man it's like they're doing the complete opposite of everybody else in the whole world yeah i saw that i was wondering if you saw it i didn't want to bring it up if you did they're like you know they're just essentially like not because they don't care about their employees so they're just like no come on in we're still selling you want a freaking xbox 360 for 700 dollars come on yeah. in dude <laughs> Bro, you trying to sell me that new X bone that you just bought? I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. Fifty cents. Fifty cents, dude. That's twenty more cents than the last guy offered me. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know. He's you're getting up there now. I'm a. 
wheeling and dealing machine. <laughs> but seriously, though, screw GameStop. Yeah, bro, like, if you're listening to this and you still go to GameStop, fucking stop it. Just go to Amazon, man. If you're going to GameStop to buy, like, exclusive pops that they get, cool. I respect you for that because I do the oh, same thing. But if you're going game. to get, like, a game, stop. <laughs> GameStop? Like, game, stop. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I'm mining like... this freaking imp right now. This is crazy. That, okay, sorry. That, <laughs> I got a random event, and I was in the middle of mining, and I turned around to him and he was just like chopping his freaking head off um so yeah i don't know it's it's crazy the world is is falling apart but uh you know what this what this podcast is for dude stay uh stay home kick back and watch us play roomscape for an hour right i mean you don't watch me oh that's true they just hear you they just hear me which arguably it's probably better yeah that's true because i mean but you're probably doing more interesting things though i mean it just comes with the time and the level I'm just uh, killing Kraken still, like I have been doing for the last two episodes. Why am I an idiot right now? I I can't figure out what the... Is that it? I'm just trying to do this stupid random event, and I can't figure out this puzzle. I told you, you small stinky brain. Pen may be mightier than the sword, but against a dragon, I'll take a weapon. Well, boys and girls, we're at the end of this episode of The Grind. I hope you guys had fun. My boy Necro, go ahead and plug your Twitch channel. Sure thing. It is a twitch.tv slash necrocircus. That's necrocircus with a zero. With I see it. Are you streaming? Uh, what do you? What's your schedule like, my boy? Uh, switching it up to Saturday and Sundays, just because that way my day I have to relax and kind of catch up on some stuff. <laughs> right. That makes sense. But yeah, that's the plan. Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Saturday is at like eight o'clock at night, and then Sunday will be earlier, probably around like five or six. What are you uh playing now these days? Dude, just playing a lot of World of Warcraft right now. Getting ready for the next expansion. Um. You know, honestly, that's really it. You're even I haven't playing, really been in the mode. To... You're playing WoW on your stream, though? Uh, on my stream, I'll play uh, Warzone here lately. Oh, so, dude, how's that been? Dude, I've been having a good time. Dude, I've, I've heard it it's actually lot. pretty good. It's not bad. People are getting really good, though, so now, it's, <laughs> now it, I actually kind of have to try. Yeah, now so, it's time for you to get good. Yeah, right. Dude, I kind of want to get into it, but... I'm just so bad at those games in general. I want to play the new Apex character. He looked cool. The uh, the skeleton man. Uh, he's not actually that good. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, apparently he is mediocre at best. So. A mediocre at best. I heard there's a speaking of that. I heard there's a new Overwatch character coming out as well. Yeah. Can you believe that? Do you <laughs> did you ever play Overwatch? I did. Did you like it? Uh, I love. I think Overwatch is a fun game. Uh-huh. I, it's a lot of fun to play with friends. Um, the community is garbage. Oh, really? If you play Overwatch and you're listening to this, yes, you're probably part of the problem. I think I heard that, actually. I think they had a pretty bad... Uh, they are the worst... They are worse than a League of Legends community. Really? Yeah, like, you need a hazmat suit to play. <laughs> are you, uh, are you gonna get Overwatch 2? <laughs> you mean the Overwatch DLC? No, I'm good. <laughs> i mean you suit yourself dude but you're gonna miss it's out on the story like, mode i am gonna get that diablo 4 though Ooh, when does that come out do we have a release date on that yet <laughs> no we don't <laughs> so probably not until next gen yeah probably not that's the thing start thinking about too PC is first though yeah most things are probably going to be made for the next gen now oh absolutely i mean most games they'll be able to be ran on their console I don't know if you remember, but the the last uh, console cycle kind of did that too. Like uh, at the end of the Xbox 360, a lot of those games started to become Xbox One games. Like I remember being like like Black Flag, um, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. That is, it released yeah. on the 360. Then when the Xbox One came out, they're like, oh, check it out, it's also on the Xbox One. So yeah, same thing with Diablo Four and or Diablo Three, excuse me. Oh yeah, with the uh, Reaper of Souls, dude. Oh, Diablo Three was mm-hmm. so good. Oh my gosh. It was a lot of fun. I haven't been able to get back into it, though, since I played it on the Xbox. I remember, dude, we, you got into that for, like, I remember you and one of our other friends got way into it there, like, later on. Oh, yeah, for months, farming sets and everything. And I plan on doing it again with Diablo 4 when it comes out, so. Uh, with the, the the Reaper of Souls expansion, like, really changed that up. Yeah, the Reaper of Souls expansion saved that game. Do you remember when we first game. played it? Because I think we played it together at my house, and I was the freaking, like, monk. <laughs> Bro, yeah, the monk is the monk was actually he, not as good. He's as like the worst character. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was the demon hunter who at the time was. Oh yeah, the guy with the crossbows. Yeah, and then uh, I ended up playing. 
maining a uh, crusader later and a barbarian. Oh, dude, good times. I'm ready for and then game. The Necromancer when it came out. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That and the, who was the guy that came out with the the Reaper of Souls, like the Paladin or whatever? Uh, for Reaper of Souls, it was a Crusader. Crusader, yeah. yeah. And I played as him the second time around. I remember they had a build for him called the Holy Shotgun. Oh, it was so good, dude. That that game is just good. We gotta play that again sometime. I'd be down. You can play it on the PC though. Oh, that's fine. Uh, boys and girls, that was a rough tangent. We will see you guys in the next episode of The Grind. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, stay safe out there. Stay home. Stay clean. Just freaking stay beautiful all around. Boys and girls, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.